You remember these things, right? Yes. The matchstick rockets? Yeah, those are cool. Here, light it. They kind of work sometimes, but they don't go too far. But hey, check it out. Look, I made yesterday. I made the overkill version of that. That's not a matchstick rocket. Well, it's a hydrogen rocket thing. Uh, I haven't really figured out how it's going to work yet, so let's just play with it, I guess. Okay, I haven't really played with it very much other than putting all this stuff on. I, I need to like make a thing for this. Basically, what I, I'm envisioning is basically I have the hydrogen generator here, which is uh, electrolytic... Um, thing basically it separates the uh it breaks the water uh into three into its respective parts which is two parts hydrogen one part's oxygen yeah hho okay yeah so then the gas bubbles into here and then it comes to uh the bottom basically this keeps the flashback from getting into the actual generator part and causing problems in there so basically if i have an explosion happens inside of this container so once the bubbles come out of there it builds up the top and the bubbles come through here and they'll come to this pipe right here and normally I have some kind of like cap or some kind of rocket or something on here. And once uh, the hydrogen fills up to the top, it'll push the remaining regular air out to the bottom, which I'll ignite through this port here, if it works. Can I just fold this over? Kind of like a, a giant matchstick rocket, I guess. So hook this there. You can see the, it's starting to bubble up here and it comes to here and the bubbles come to there. And now it should fill this chamber. I don't know how long this is actually going to take. Let's just wait a second. Oh, um, it didn't fly. Didn't work. Yeah. I'm just going to smack this with some tape. I put some tape in. I just want to see an explosion. It should work. Ow! I told you it works. For some reason it just doesn't work with the paper thing on it. Okay, I don't know what to deal with this. It doesn't work, but let's let's try the tape again just to make sure I'm not crazy. I got earplugs in this time because my freaking small case of uh, tinnitus or whatever. Uh, don't discharge firearms outside without ear protection on. Okay, let's hit this. I think I need to count to about 10, and then we light it. It's been about 10 seconds, right? Yeah. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Sammy, one, two. Ha, this doesn't work either. It didn't do anything. Maybe it just doesn't like paper, but uh, let's try this piece of aluminum instead, like a match rocket. Yeah, it goes bang, but it blew up the side, so it's just not strong enough. Oh, you know what it is? The paper is p fairly porous, right? Right. And hydrogen atoms are very, 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 very small, so they tend to travel through most things, even like rubber or, or latex balloons, even mylar, they still leak out of there. So this stuff it just has massive holes and it's all it is doing is just lighting the hydrogen out. So I'm just burning the fuel stream back up to there and it's blo oh. Why am I so stupid? I don't know. What are you doing? Okay, now I'm gonna make the chamber out of aluminum which doesn't have a much of a problem leaking hydrogen gas. So now I'm gonna make the actual body part out of paper and we should be able to launch this thing pretty far if it works. Sam, why did you tape your, what are those? It's a pair of sunglasses. Oh, a rocket of sunglasses. Sure. Sure, that's what that is. Why do I feel like I'm in like middle school again? Because we're doing arts and crafts. Actually, funny story uh, is though, um, in middle school, or, or I think maybe it was elementary, we had to make alcohols or rockets and stuff, but I actually made a body for mine. They made, basically made them out of film canisters, and you would just put alcohols or tablets in it, and you know, it'd pop off and go a few 50 feet or so. But uh, I made a body for mine, and it went really high. But this feels like that all over again, because I had messed with paper and make this, even though this is extremely stupid, and uh, I don't know about that, but let's try it. All right, you ready? Yep, do you think it will get off? I think it will get off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sucked. I think your fins suck. Let me let me just change that out. Um, actually, desktop space, aerospace program. Test number whatever. Hey, it worked. Mine I need further. A, huh? Mine went further. Okay, well that is probably enough for now. I think I'm gonna take it back, build the actual base station, and refine these rockets because um, that's a lot of explosion to be wasted on such a crappy rocket. Because I'm pretty sure I can push these things, you know, quite far. So uh, let me get back to work.
Check it out. Look at the thing I made. Isn't that fancy? I don't even know what this thing is anymore. I just made a thing. It's like a, it's like a cool display stand for it, at least for the science experiment. Um, it's still supposed to be some kind of like you know rocket launcher thing. So, let's figure out what it's for. Okay, now comes the fun part. You have to load it. Now you know I see other people do this stuff, and I'm like, wow, it's kind of easy. It doesn't seem that dangerous, but man, that stuff is actually pretty dangerous. This lie stuff. This uh, potassium hydroxide. Uh, that's pretty nasty stuff. Make sure you got some safety glasses, preferably safety goggles. I have safety glasses, so this is not correctly right, but I'm doing such a small quantity of it, I'll, I'll run that risk. Don't try this at all. Actually, maybe you do, but you know, get the right stuff. So how this works is you just you know take this one out. This one's for that. Put the water in first. That in case you splash it with you have know, flakes in there, you're gonna get all over the place and you get chemical burns. I actually already burned myself with that stuff and it, it, it feels pretty bad. It feels like soap is on your hands and then if you leave it on for too long, it starts burning into your skin probably because the soap feeling is your skin dissolving. But there you go. Uh, basically what this is, it's an electrolyte so you can kind of um, get the current to flow through the water a little bit easier. Since uh, distilled water has very, very, um, very, very low, very, very high resistance, right? It's high resistance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah current doesn't flow through that because there's, there's no minerals or anything in the water. So this electrolyte helps, you know, current flow through the water. And you simply screw that on and insert it back into the base. And I just kind of lazily stick the battery in here. I didn't really think of a cover for this because, um, you know, I wasn't really sure why I was taking this project. All I know is I wanted like a neat little compact hydrogen desk maker toy. You can use any kind of battery for this as long as it's 12 volts, which is why I went with the alligator clips. Oh, it's bubbling, hang on, turn that off. Okay, now we can just test it out. Basically, I'm gonna do is just cover up this end. Actually, if you look in here, you'll see the tube. So basically, the hydrogen bubbles come through here, they go through the little um, bubbler, basically keeps the explosion away from the chamber. I think we talked about this earlier, but the bubbles rise to the top, hydrogen gas comes through here, hydrogen oxygen gas mix, comes through this little fill valve, goes to the bottom, and then it comes out through here. This is so I can shut it on and off to keep it out of the hydrogen tank. But, you know, I can detonate anywhere. It's not really a big deal. And it comes to this thing. The hydrogen gas comes out through that of uh, that hole right there. And it fills the entire chamber because I plug it on the top. And then it eventually bleeds out through the back once all of the gas is just pure hydrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. Or hopefully pure hydrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. And then you hit the button to ignite it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, that's much better. <laughs> It's really loud. You can, hear, you can definitely hear your earplugs in. It goes. It's not to scare Lucky. Like, he's terrified of loud noises and bangs. He's like, what's going on? No, Lucky, it's all right. Toby doesn't seem to care, though, but he's upstairs sleeping. All right, uh, I challenge you to something. Let's make a rocket. Let's see if you can make the rocket go the furthest with this dumb little contraption. Because I'm not I really sure what this is. What? I can do that. Okay. Pretty much this is like, I, I remember like a, a, during like a, like eighth grade or whatever, the science teacher had like one of these hydrogen makers for whatever reason, and he had a really small one, but you know, this is something I'd probably give to teacher if I still had a teacher, but you know, and if I liked a teacher, but it's kind of cool. It looks really cool sitting on my desk, so I'm pretty happy with that, but let's just fool around with it and see what we can make. That is my rocket. Is that really your rocket? Yeah. Well, that was simpler than I thought. Really, Sam? Oh. <laughs> your rocket just blew up. Oh, it just... So what, what happened to your rocket? Uh, it just blew it blew up in the launch pad. Yeah, there was a little bit more uh, force than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's really powerful. This hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen stuff is really, really extreme as far as the, the power behind it. Especially it's just a small, a small quantity of it. Just how explosive this stuff is is really impressive. Really, is is that your redesign? That's my redesign. Yeah. No. What is that for, Sam? That's part of my rocket. How? The, the stand's looking like this big. Where's the rest here? Oh my god. What, what is this? What is that? The gold member. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Check it out. Let me pour some glue in here. It's so gold and super shiny. It matches the rest of my project. I think uh, with this increased combustion chamber size, I'm going to need about 20 seconds on the clock of fuelage. At least. Okay. Three, two, one. Sam. You have to see the, the expectations of the design limitations. Hey, if it goes off the launcher, it went further than yours. Ah. Done. 
Uh, just to reiterate, basically we have to seal it off with tape because um, the paper's too porous. Like a hydrogen gas will actually just leak through the paper and you won't get anything to happen. We found that out earlier. So this is tape in here. So I'm basically just, this is a giant combustion chamber. So this is more of like a projectile rather than an actual rocket. Rocket. I think it's been long enough. So we're going to fire in three, two, one. Ah, uh, the top just fell off. So I meant something a little less ridiculous. Shut up, Sam. I was able to save my fins, and now I have this guy. What is that? Do you realize that's probably not going to work any better than this? <laughs> it's, it will. Oh, look at that. Look at the tape. Okay. Smash that like button. Hit that button for me. Smash that like. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah! that's so weird. No. Why? Why did it go somewhere? Why did mine not go anywhere? One. What? Why does yours work every time? Mine doesn't work. What the heck is going on? The secret is in my awesome launch chamber. What? What'd you put in there? Oh, you gotta peel that off first. Grenades? All right, how did, oh, what, what is this? Is this how you made yours work? Yep, all it is is paper. Uh-huh. Capped with hot glue. Oh. And some tape around it. See, I did mine a different way. I tried to make like a blast cap, but I guess this is far superior. So I'll let you have that, you win. Uh, I'm gonna borrow this and insert this this way. We're gonna launch my rocket now. Just remember, you what? have the short stubby one, yeah. and I have this thing. Eh. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Three, two, one. Ooh, that, okay, that works. I know what I'm doing. I guess, engineer. Oh! oh that thing goes. <laughs> Go. Three, two, one. Okay, so I guess that wraps this video up. Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. I really just want to experiment with HHO generation because I've never really, you know, messed with this stuff. Because I want to build like other experiments such as combustion engines running off of this stuff. Also some more bigger cannons and whatnot. So this is just a fun way to use it. Plus it's a great way to recycle these things. These are contact lens containers and uh I got LASIK, so I don't need these anymore, so that was pretty a uh, great way to reuse that. And uh yeah. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe. I'm gonna detonate this. So, are you ready? Go for it. All right, like. Oh my god! Ah, oh, crap! Holy hell! That thing is powerful. Man, that was terrifying. Yeah. Bye. I think you made a hydrogen bomb. <laughs>